Hi there. Thank you for joining me. We are working through Psalm 35 today. Today we're going to look at verses 17 and 18 of Psalm 35. And uh, let's joyfully come before our Lord in prayer. God, speak. Speak in such a way that we hear your word, but also speak in such a way that we see your action in our lives. Please demonstrate in our circumstances what you declare to be true in your word and in your heart. I thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, that you never quit on us, and that you never, ever let us go once we are in your grip. So speak now through your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 35, David is dealing with a betrayal. He's dealing with those that are seeking to take his life. We might categorize this in the most dramatic of ways. David's going through some difficulties. In verses 17 and 18 of Psalm 35, this is what David prays and sings. How long, O Lord, will you look on? Rescue me from their destruction, my precious life from the lions. I will thank you in the great congregation. In the mighty throng, I will praise you. I'm going to let you know right on the outset that there's two statements in Scripture over and over that, that resonate and that repeat. One most often comes from the lips of God. The other most often comes from the lips of humanity. Humanity's cry is, how long? The Lord's cry is, fear not. David here is expressing how long. And we've all been there. We've wondered how long, and in good ways. How long is it going to take to get there? We're stuck in traffic. How long is it going to take for this meal to be finished? Because the oven temperature doesn't seem to be working right. Those kinds of things. To how long will I ever get out of my financial distress? Will I ever overcome this illness Will I ever know and savor the joy of the faithfulness of you, O Lord? How long? David is crying, how long? Because he says, oh, how long, O Lord, will you look on? David's concern is that, that, that not that God is clueless to his circumstances, but that God is not involved in his circumstances, as if David's going through the problems and here's God off in the corner just watching it all take place, which could be interpreted by those of us in the midst of the problems as, oh, they're ambivalent. They don't care. David says, how long, O Lord, will you look on? And then his cry, rescue me from their destru destruction, my precious life from the lions. I am your precious son. You in Christ are God's precious son or daughter. And David cries, Lord, don't just look on, rescue. But he doesn't stop there. We tend to stop there. And I think as we mature in our relationship with Jesus, the how long is still there. The cry of, Lord, how long remains. But we end with confidence. David says, I will thank you in the congregation, in the collection and company of God's people. I will praise you. I will thank you because you will be good because you are good. I will thank you in the congregation, in the mighty throng. I will praise you. Please know that for every time you cry how long, there is at least once, if not more times, that God says, fear not, for I am with you. Lord bless you. I'll see you next time.